<laughs> and it still goes. Oh, it's checking that connection. It's checking that connection, and bam, we are live. You think they're ready? Are you guys ready? I don't think they're ready, but. <laughs> How's it going, folks? How's it going? You already know the waves, and for sure, you already know the vibes. It is Zachariah White, aka King Big Daddy Drip. Back at it like it's nothing with this drip and the sauce, because I am the boss. I am back. We are here, and also, you know what? Shoot, shoot. I know you picked up the mic. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a. What you what you got going? What you got going? <laughs> oh no, nothing much. I, I just picked up the mic. I was like, you know what? My name Mike. Your name Mike? I'm gonna pick up the mic. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo, listen. I, I ain't gonna hold you, cause what, bro, you you should have had the dang fedora hat. You should have had the fedora. Yeah, hat. but at, at the same time, it, it wasn't. I, I got yellow Crocs on, y'all. Nah. Bro. Like, <laughs> nah, bro. Okay, okay, nah. okay. Well, well, listen. I, you know what? My, I, 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 they, they know who you are, but tell them who you are. I am Negra. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she said she she said I'ma pop my black shirt, man. <laughs> I got I got ten more of these at home. You feel me? Anyways. Yeah, I'm black bitch. I'm negra. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but but all in all, though, listen. Happy good day to every single one of y'all. Happy soulful and spiritual Sunday. All right. Uh, honestly, again, you know, thank God for everything and thank y'all as well. Uh, you know, for whenever it is that y'all happen to pull up and you know, just just I'll say just just thank you to everything. This week has been it, it always has its ups and downs, man. It's, it's always a roller coaster. I tell you that much. Uh, but uh, I'll say even before we go through and we just jump into you know what we're about to talk about. Which by the way, big shout out to the person who just joined. There. <laughs> yeah. what's up what's up what's up uh but no no all, all in all though again you know before we even jump in i just want to acknowledge um you know just on behalf of tis and tes again and we really want to remind y'all that everybody again is a king queen god goddess emperor empress boss within their own right you know as far as what it is that is everybody's special niche of course life is all about finding that out but nonetheless though we i and and i don't even just mean to say the internal sphere and the external sphere but also throw in rare and throw in our other kingdoms and empires and entities that happen to you know encompass and be underneath those umbrellas you know we all acknowledge that and and of course y'all just make sure that y'all wear y'all crowns loud and proud not only just for yourselves but for who and what y'all represent and let the entire world know what it is all right but uh but nonetheless though shoot man I, you know we're gonna go ahead and, and jump right into it the very first question just off rip Listen, this is a self checkup, right? I guess yeah. a self care check or something like that. How has this week been for you, Nekra? You know, this week has been, I feel, it's been a pretty normal week, you know. I feel like with life, there's a bunch of chaos, you know, there's a bunch of shit that we constantly go through day to day. And I feel like I'm just blessed that I'm alive and breathing. There's nothing wrong with me. I, I'm, I can walk. I have a roof over my head. I'm just blessed that like, nothing crazy has happened. You know, crazy shit happens, but I'm still alive. I'm not in a hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay. So that that's pretty much that's that's my how my week has been. That well, part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for for me, the week has been. Um, uh, I'll say ups and downs. Really, I uh, reason why I'll say ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, the the. I won't. I don't even. I won't even say the downs are downs. It's just more so like just the, the, how should I say? It, it, it's really more so like you know how we're planning for like the businesses. Yeah. You know, again, there's so many times where we try to go through and do things. We we get on these phone calls. You know, we sit through these meetings. Of course, our our overall intention is to to further help the business. Uh, the businesses actually get that at least one step forward sometimes that doesn't always happen so you know and, and of course you know running into all the stresses of, of still trying to make things happen yeah. you know but but nonetheless you know there there were definitely a 
whole lot of highlights in which, by the way, we see the folks, you know, popping up on Negra's page. Big shout outs to y'all for hopping in, what's <laughs> man. Up? You know, but, That's what's up. but like, I'll say like a highlight yesterday, I know, and we may mess around and talk a good bit more about this, but yesterday we, we put on an awesome performance yesterday. All right. Well, I would say you put on an awesome <laughs> performance. Awesome job. Right. All right. But, um, but yeah, no, it, that 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 was definitely something that was was well needed. Uh, Cause I don't even I, with um, last week, I know that I was you know doing a good bit of work for the this upcoming mixtape La Musica del Mundo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it like I didn't necessarily have enough time to go through and do like all the the, the uh, news of the people or the news of the world episodes or the gaming videos or just much anything else that I wanted to do so that was a good way to you know at least help me I'm like okay yeah I'm, I'm still being productive despite not being able to do what I would normally do throughout the week so you know we got that no I got you on that 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 right there is <laughs> you just been a busy man nah. which is nothing new so <laughs> that part man shoot we, we all we all strive and we're all growing man uh, but Shoot, I know that there's a whole bunch of, I know one big shout out to you for the questions uh, that you provided. I know, of course, we got them all right here, all right? Uh, and even, I know that, uh, and being outright honest, of course, we're taking a look at the, the, the you know, folks, or lack thereof in the life, live. <laughs> 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 listen, listen, y'all, I'm, I'm going to keep it tall. I don't care. Uh, yeah. uh, that too, bro. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. So regardless, listen. Uh, whether it be this camera right here that's catching stuff, whether it be the, this audio that's catching stuff, whether it be you know this right here. Either way, still, man. Um, you know, y'all. Of course, whatever questions that we we ask out, you know, definitely y'all feel free to to answer. But there there was some good stuff. I don't know whether to go with like the specific topics or the the, the general questions that you had. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with the general question because I see some mm -hmm. some off rip that I like. Uh, this, the question that you have is, what's your favorite quote? What is your favorite quote? I've seen a lot of quotes throughout. Like I know I'm, I know I'm young as fuck, guys. Um, that don't part? get me wrong. I, I know I, I probably make it seem like I'm older than what I am. No, I'm yeah. not. I just my quote, my favorite quote is, is just be real, be rare. That part. <laughs> and I and honestly, I took that upon me. Like I made that shit my own. Even though I don't know who decided to create that quote, mm -hmm. I know I saw that from somewhere. But honestly, I it's mine now. So <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what matters. Hey, she like, said she said y'all gonna make a post. It's gonna it's gonna be a picture of me and and it's just in yep. quotation marks. Be real, be rare, negra. <laughs> that, that literally be real, be rare. Like I feel like that's literally me. Like, mm -hmm. I try to be as genuine as possible, especially in, in a world like this. It's, it's crazy out here mm. and honestly that that's why I take that quote seriously and I really think it's my quote because literally so many people I encounter I don't, I'm not gonna lie I met some really good people mm. but also I met some really bad people at the same time so Definitely. that's why I take be real be rare and seriously because not many people can be real can be rare so mm. that's what that's why that's my favorite quote I hear that. I hear that. Um, I'm trying to think of my favorite quote. Because when, when I looked at the question, not necessarily my favorite quotes, but just quotes that just popped up in my head. I know the, the fall down nine, um, get back up ten. Uh, yeah. You know, I think that, that that one came from Cardi B. Um, I, I think, what's it called? <laughs> there was a Lance Armstrong quote, something about... Uh, it, it's all about like what what's in your heart or something like that. Um, none of those quotes. I mean, I'm, uh, what is my favorite quote? Um, dang, <laughs> there's a lot, right? No, nah, it's it, the reason why it's a, it's, it's a lot. Not because it, it's it, there there are a lot of good quotes out there, mm -hmm. but sort of kind of like how you how you went along the route of like. The, the be real be rare that that is you know something that you're making into your own i'm not gonna hold you if my favorite quotes would have to be something from what we mentioned um hell whether it be the the royalty acknowledgement that we mentioned just a little bit earlier you know that i know uh, above any and everything else that's one of my favorite quotes um hey I, I ain't even gonna lie now i'm starting to think of the bible i'm starting to think of the bible um i've been thinking of i don't i don't know i don't know where in the bible but i i do know that it's 
you know, the, the, the conversation that Jesus was having with the devil, uh, you know, something about Jesus telling the devil that, you know, you know, for it is written. I'm really trying to think, man, what is my favorite quote? I, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I may be a little conceited, but it's got to be something that, that I mentioned. Um, it, it's got to be the royalty acknowledgement is 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 up there. You know the the we write it down or, or I write it down. You know as, as often as possible. But you know whenever it is that I write, you know hey, you know we as the internal spirit, we as the external spirit, our aim is to be the the good, the great, the best version of ourselves every single day. You know that's another one of my favorite quotes, and and another one is just uh, that I put for the internal spirit, and the external spirit. Uh, still like our our main mission being not only just to, like essentially we're helping out three different groups of people the heavenly kingdom our kingdoms and empires and entities that we've got and everyone else around us so that the, those would be my favorite shit mm -hmm. well, mm. this was soft uh, you said oh whoa um I, i'm looking i'm looking oh, no 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 because because there's still a whole like I, i'm i'm looking up and down this um you know what you sound like, you know, in Anna Montana, like when, when something bad happens or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, man. Nah, but what's it called? It says, like, there, there's a whole bunch. Like, I, I'm going to just start reading off the questions. Um, it says, what makes you different? How big is your inner circle? What is your life motto? What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? You know, I guess we I, 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 we throw some silly, throw some Ooh. silly up in there. What is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Mm. And also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little hungry. So fuck. Oh, no. Actually, I I don't know if it eaten slash slash drink. Not even gonna lie. I know y'all seen that TikTok trend where you go to Sonic and you get a Dr Pepper and you get pickles in the Dr Pepper. What the what, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with y'all human beings? Why would y'all do that? I recently tried you had that. that. Yes, I I I drink pickles with Dr Pepper. That shit was the nastiest shit I ever had in my whole entire life, bro. That was not okay. Like, like I put a couple pickles pickles up in there. Oh my god, I, I'm traumatized. Mm. I'm never doing. And then you had, I watched so many TikTok videos of the pickles and and Dr Pepper and see people. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Liars! Mm -hmm. You guys lied. Ain't no way that is good. There's there was no possible way that was good. Not not one percent. That was the nastiest thing I ever had. And y'all made me try because mm -hmm. so many videos of people. Oh yeah, this tastes pretty good. What? No, nah, something's wrong with y'all taste buds. Ain't no way. I'm done. That that traumatized me. So I'm never doing a TikTok trend again. That's you not okay. I'm, I'm gonna keep it tall, right? <laughs> This is this is where you messed up at. All right, let me tell you where you messed up at. Where? You follow the TikTok trend. That that's where you that's where you fucked up, right? I'm because gonna... I'm gonna keep you all the way tall with you. Mm -hmm. There's I know that TikTok has been around for like you know some years now. There's not a single TikTok trend that I've seen, or let's just say a trend in general, mm -hmm. like a try this, that especially like got super super popular that I feel like resulted in some good shit. But because I don't, that's you want my to, first time trying it, so I didn't know. You see, so no, nah, bro. <laughs> but pause. Dr. Pepper with pickles, with pickles. I don't even drink soda, but with pickles. Yo, let me, let me, let me say this, right? You want to know what this remind me of? All the way back when we were in middle school, mm -hmm. the cinnamon challenge. What was it again? Like a spoonful of a cinnamon? spoonful of cinnamon. Oh, didn't you knowing die? damn well that that ain't possible. You can die. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like the bleach challenge. Yeah, I never even did a those. Just try, try pickles and and Dr Pepper. It's it's gonna taste great. No, it's not. And we all know it's not. Come the hell on, pickles are. Bro, oh, wow. You see, I I, I, I know pickles. I know pickles to go on hamburgers. Hamburgers and I, I, to my knowledge, a hamburger and the soda don't taste the same. So what? Just I don't know. Hey man, I, I tried it never again. Like y'all, y'all really, y'all traumatized me. <laughs> like, mm. <laughs> God damn, man. Trauma. <laughs> I tell you this, now nah, I already wasn't gonna try it, but now I know what not to try. 
you see that that almost led me to another question of what's been the silliest damn trend that TikTok has had folks going on. Every trend. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. It, it, it be them trends that having everybody treated like it's gospel or something. But the weirdest thing that I've tried. What is the weirdest thing that I've tried? Um. Hmm. <laughs> it may have been calamari. What? I, I didn't think that I like it. It, 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 it was because of the fact, like, not the fried part, but it's the it being a squid. Yeah, not gonna lie, Dad. I was like, I remember the first time I tried, I felt uncomfortable. Mm. I was like, I think I want to eat fish, chicken, turkey, Wrong. ground beef, uh, cal squid. <laughs> it, it was that that gooey part that sort of had me like, mm. cause I was like, I I was like, I'm in love with the with the fried, but mm -hmm. the gooey, ew. <laughs> but nonetheless, though, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it now. So, you know. I love it. That would be my favorite, um, call, or Paul's not my favorite. That would be the weirdest thing because I can't. I know that, like, I know my girl. She was telling me something about how um, she tried like cow tongue or something or beef tongue. Yeah, she said that it was good. Oh, she she likes it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But here's my thing. I I don't have no no weird stories like that where like I'm I'm trying freaking, you know. Well, I'm trying like beef tongue or I'm trying crocodile or alligator or some shit like that. Oh, there was another time my brother, my oldest brother, mm. he literally, I remember one time he came for Thanksgiving or mm. some or some holiday and he's like, he came, I was playing games in like the, the little game room, whatever. It's, it was like a guest room, but like, you know, nobody was in there. Mm. So they just had like a little computer. I was playing games on the computer and I guess they were cooking something. I think they were cooking like beef or something or a cow whatever the fuck and he's like he came in and i he's like oh he gave me he gives me meat right what's up like, philip i'm dead what's up philip <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah my bad i didn't mean i didn't mean to cut you off <laughs> i'm dead but like literally he came in and he's like he's like try this i was like oh, okay and i was like and i tried it he's like and he was like i was like what is this and he was like oh this is like cow balls i was like Because what? Why would you tell a little girl that? You had I was like, what? Cow like, testicles? Yes. Like I don't know if he was like joking because he he be fucking with me. But like, mm. I don't know if you Are imagine you telling like an eleven year old girl, oh, you just had cow balls. Mm. <laughs> like hello? Like I'm traumatized. But I think he was fucking with me. He 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 always playing damn games. But like that's not funny. Like I'm done. <laughs> that's not funny at all. That's traumatizing. Like, listen, I don't think I'm bro. Like, I ain't no like, way. I, I I ain't have no damn cow testicles. That's for, that but, that's for damn show. I, I can't bro, do that. But I was like ten years old. Imagine telling a ten year old girl that oh you just had cow balls. Like that's not okay. I'm, that's not funny, bro. Yeah. Like that's traumatizing. <laughs> like I heard, I heard that. That's what I'm trying Yo. to say. Like what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Like that's not okay. Bro, that's not funny. I know so too. Uh, pickles and Dr Pepper ain't it either. Yeah. Oh, did you, did you, you try it? No. I was about uh, to say. I, not, I ain't going to after hearing what you said. <laughs> Hell no. Hell. I trust your judgment. Yo, listen. I, 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 was, I was about to bring you in, but I was like, bro, you want to know something? Also, side note. Yo, tell me why we, we were talking about Red Lobsters a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Guess yeah. what closed down? Red fucking lobsters. My bro. point. Yeah. Now you ain't gonna be able to take anyone there. Jeez Louise. The, the, the one over um nearby um Edison Mall is, is dumb for man. Trauma. Yeah, you know you you were spot on with that. I ain't gonna hold you. Nice. Listen. <laughs> big I'll say this, big shout outs to Parlay for being on spot or well, being on point with that one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Red lobsters. It, I I'ma say this. I love your shrimp, but y'all y'all gotta Y'all gotta get y'all shit together, man. Y'all can't be y'all, <laughs> boys. Them roaches, the infestation over, over nearby Edison Mall. The look, come on, cause that that ain't it, bro. That ain't it. Bro. Mm. Trauma, bro. Mm. Okay. Okay. We got a, we got a lot of a good questions here. Mhm. Mm I know we probably talked about this one before, but what is your life motto? I ain't gonna answer this question because I. I already gave y'all the answer in, a, in like a, the previous, you know, episode. But like, what's your life's motto? Hmm, my life motto is just to be the best I can be. Mm. Just do what I love doing. Because to be honest, 
we're in a world where it's just kind of messed up nowadays just everything's messed up you know how everything the prices are getting more pricier everything's becoming impossible to keep up with so I, I just say might as well just do what you fucking love to do mm. don't get it doesn't matter if I was like if your parents want you to be a doctor fuck that low-key <laughs> fuck that low-key Re- reason why because if you don't want to be a doctor and I understand like reason why your parents want you to be a doctor because of money reasons because that that's the most successful career mm-hmm. but you're gonna just be miserable for the rest of your life if you're just gonna continue to do a job that you really don't even want to do you have no interest in just because of making money like you you have you look comfortably but you will always be miserable because you're not doing what you love to do mm. so I say the motto is do what you fucking love that part. do what you fucking love don't give a fuck it doesn't matter who says this shit fuck that fuck them actually mm. fuck that shit do what you love to do mm. if you if you want to be a stripper be a stripper it doesn't what, fucking what? matter yes what, what, yes what? nigga what, what? be a stripper if you want to be a stripper what, what, be what a happened? fucking stripper be anything that you if you want if you love this you better fucking do it mm. it doesn't matter about the money because we're in a world where it's just it just gets worse from here the the, the fucking gas is gonna be ten dollars a gallon like like in the next 10 years 20 years it doesn't fucking matter which is crazy so you better live your life and the life expect expectancy is is gonna is gonna get lower too you see people dying at 60 70 yeah um, imagine people later in life are gonna be starting to die at 40 or 50 mm. so just live your fucking life and do what you love mm. that's my motto mm. case closed and do what you love I like that Literally. I don't know about being a stripper <laughs> <laughs> but if you fucking love right. being a stripper do that right. do your thing bro and and you're making money Fuck, fuck what everybody else got to say, okay? Mm. Do what you love. It doesn't matter. Because guess what? I'd rather be poor and happy than fucking rich, rich and miserable. And, yep. Honestly. If yep. that's the truth. I'm about to tell Because mm. what, is, what is money? You can... Okay, what is money? You have a $20 bill in your hand, right? Mm. But once you rip that shit up, what is it worth? Not Nothing. a damn thing. Not a damn thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Just live your life the happiest you, way you can, to be honest. Mm. That's what really matters. Mm-hmm. What, how do I say, your life motto, man, do what you love and be happy. Um, Literally. Or at least be content or something. Just That's why we, we're all struggling with mental issues. Notice that. Because we're all not doing what we love. I, I understand it. it's a hard time. It's a hard time. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. But I'm like, I feel like the... The mental illness, everybody being miserable, I feel like that would be less if we all did what we love. Everybody in this in this world did what we love. I feel like the sadness, the depression, everything would be lower. Not not that much because you know <coughs> some people are still gonna have their issues. Yeah. But it's going to be a little less than than what it would than what it currently is right now. Honestly. Um, I I'll say this. I I definitely see and hear that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say it that that whole aspect of like people living too much by like societal norms societal standards or whichever Mm -hmm. like i'm not gonna hold you yeah that is uh, i get it it, it's it's a weird thing where it's like it it could help out in certain degrees Mm -hmm. but it it, it, especially in in I'll say, especially in American society, this shit, it, it's, it's turning these folks all over the fucking place. And it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I know, you know, you and I, like, we talked about it time and time again. Like, I'm even, like, even when we go to, 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 to talking about how low the energy is, this and that, it's like, these folks is really so caught up by these social standards. It's so, it's, or, or choosing to adhere to these social standards so much that these folks is really acting scared to to say anything or to cheer or to dance or to crack a smile or whatever the fuck and it's it's and it, it's like are y'all are y'all kidding me like bro this is it, it's 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 absurd it's, it's it's absurd to say the least um 
and and this is the thing too definitely i think i i know you know i mentioned time and time again folks trying to be the best version of yourselves you know seeking out your own path and 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 just working hard man to i'll just say this do good for oneself and do good for for other folks mm-hmm. um but i'll say this keep him especially it, you know because you brought up the the example of like you know parents like wanting folks to go and you know hey i want you to go and be a doctor this and that and it's like folks wanting the safety the safest option yeah. but not the but, but it's not the the best option overall mm-hmm. you know like, um, i understand that like to the extent like oh like parents parents people just want the best for you but like at the same time it's like Best no, no, no. Actually, actually, no. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna go and stop you right there. I don't think that they want the best for you. I, 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 I don't genuinely think that. I think they probably want. It, it's, it, cause it's, it's this weird thing. Folks want the safest thing. And yeah, like the best for you, like money wise. Like, oh, they, they're just thinking, oh, like, oh yeah, you, you're definitely gonna be able to afford this and afford this. That's what I'm thinking. Not like mm. mentally wise. No, not fuck that. No. <laughs> Not talking about mental. I'm talking about oh, oh, they they want you to be a doctor because they know doctors make make a lot of money. A lot of money. That that's the reason why. Mm-hmm. But they don't give a fuck about the mental health. Oh, of course not. They're just, they're just saying oh, I, at least I know if you're gonna be a doctor, you're definitely gonna be able to afford this. You're gonna be able to live on your own. That's that's what I'm talking about. And if you wanna know something, I think the the, the craziest thing about that is, as well mm-hmm. is like. It, folks may have the like, oh, I want for you to, yo, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the best thing for you. Mm-hmm. But I don't even think people like, it, it's, it's just, it's only just the hope. Mm-hmm. Like, cause think about this shit, right? Like the, yo, I like, okay, I want for you to go and become a doctor. But I think a lot of times when, when folks like are put up on that path, mm-hmm. like, or let's say that that hope is there. I think it, it's not like, oh yeah, I'm making these efforts so that you actually become doctor if that happens to make sense i know like saying to parents that might be a bit of a, a bad example mm-hmm. but like paul this I, i'll use this as an example right yeah for us mm-hmm. take take ces as a unit right so me my hope for for samaya or my hope for michael i hope that y'all take your your musical talents and y'all make the most with it right mm-hmm. It, but it's something a bit beyond that, right? Like, of course, like, okay, now it's one of those things where, like, you know, and big shout-outs to Joint Empire, big shout-outs to G, mm-hmm. you know, big shout-outs to, you know, uh, just, just folks in general that we happen to, to work with when it comes to music. But this is, okay, we're putting in all this time when it comes to, you know, putting all the money and time in when it comes to the studio time, when it comes to picking out the beats, you know, per- actually going through leasing out the beats, you know, sitting down, writing, you know, the performing, like, you know, there's, there's so many different things. Like, let's just say this, every, st- just a damn near every step of the way, we're here working on this thing. I don't think, like, even though folks may have this certain, like, hope, I don't think folks are as dedicated enough to like. You can't be there for every single step, but folks, it, but 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 folks are not on that type of time where it's like, yo, I'm willing to be here every single fucking step, or to to to, or to be here for as many different steps as possible. I don't think that that that's the case. And I, I know that that was that, all over the place, but that that makes sense in that concept. Because like some people have their intentions, some people have different intentions. Mm. So what you're saying, it does make sense in that concept. No, I got you. Ooh. Big shout outs to Brown Sugar Shorty, aka my girl. <laughs> Big shout outs to her. <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and wave real quick. Let me go ahead and wave real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, my bad. I didn't even mean to make that up. <laughs> Yo, hey, oh. hey, shoot, man. I, I, hey, hey, hey. I had, to, I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> you know, nah, big, 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 nah, big shout out to, big shout out to my girl, man. Um, but, but no, no. I, I know that the the parents. Oh, you're. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Yo, but no, nah, the 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 parents. I mean, I think that they they would still be an example to some degree. Cause no, no, yeah. like no, they're they're like. 
Cause no no, there's, there's quite a number of different parents. It's like yo, like okay, I'm paying, I'm paying for you to go to this private school, mm -hmm. this and that, blase blase. Like what I'm, I'm keeping in mind is the I want you to become a doctor, but if you start struggling, you got, you better figure it the fuck out. Oh uh, yeah. That that's what oh, in yeah. which and when I'm seeing that, I'm seeing, that ain't no different than that ain't no different than you know your friends being like oh yeah like it for for you and my fault for bringing you up as an as an example mm -hmm. the. I don't even think that they said that they wish rare the, the rare clothing brand they they meant that any good mm -hmm. but like I know like for instance you know when